Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about Frenchies, also known as French Bulldogs. Alright guys, so I want to talk about their history first. It's one of the most interesting breeds so far that I've read about, their back history. Um, so they were bred to be companions only and they originated from England. They originate from a toy sized bulldog in the 1800s in England. They got very popular in France after that, and France bred them with pugs as well as terriers, and that's how they get the ears like that, that look like bats. In Paris, they started becoming popular in the 20th century. Um, you would see a lot of people just using them as a fashion statement. As far as colors go, they come in all different kind of colors. Um, they also have a wrinkly face, and they're also short and stocky. These guys are very laid back, so you could find them a lot of times laying on your couch or lying right next to you. They also have a very big personality as well. They're also very intelligent, and if you are a light sleeper, this may not be the breed that you want to get because they tend to snore a lot at night just because of their um, short um, snout. So it gives them a difficult um, time breathing, so that leads them to snore a lot while they're sleeping. Because they were bred uh, with the terrier breed, they are always on alert, so that means that you can't sneak any good treats in the house without them knowing. They're always on alert, and they are usually right by the door when you come home because they hear everything, no matter how hard they're sleeping. This breed is also generally good with other people as well as other pets. So if you have other pets at home, they should generally be good with them. Frenchies have minimum uh, shedding and they do need to be brushed at least once a week to maintain their beautiful coat. All right guys, um, so one of their big things with keeping them maintained is cutting their nails. Um, I want you to make sure that you're always cutting their nails because their nails tend to grow right next to their paw pads. And I have seen working in the emergency facility of the nails actually growing in and out of their paw pads. Um, so I do want you to make sure that you do maintain their nails being cut daily. If you do um, have an issue cutting their nails, um, call your local veterinarian facility that you normally go to. I'm sure one of the technicians can cut the nails for you. When you do give your Frenchie a bath, do keep in mind of cleaning in between their skin or their folds right where their nose is because they tend to have a lot of buildup there and they can get an infection, skin infection, if you don't clean inside their folds. So always make sure that you clean that. Also, then their face starts to stink really bad and you probably don't want that in your house. If you do own a Frenchie and you have a pool and you like to play in the pool with your Frenchie, they are pretty top heavy, therefore that it's nearly impossible for them to swim. Um, so they're not great swimmers. Doesn't mean that they don't like swimming because they do like swimming. They just, they're just not great at it. Um, so that means that if they are around a pool, you want to make sure that you're right there with them. Um, you never want to leave them in any body of water whatsoever when they're not being monitored. Training wise, they are pretty stubborn. However, using positive reinforcement, using treats um, as positive reinforcement, they are pretty good at listening as long as they're getting a treat with it. Also, another thing with training is you do want to keep touching their paws when they're puppies because um, they do have a hard time breathing. So I see a lot of times they come in the veterinary facility and we're doing a nail trim on them and they tend to get blue because they're so stressed out because they just generally don't like their feet being touched. So um, what you can do is when you're laying down on the bed next to them or watching a movie next to them, always play with their feet and rub their feet so that way um, um, as they get older, they are comfortable with you touching their paw pad when they need their nail trim. That way they don't turn blue um, later down the line. 
As far as exercise goes, they really don't need that much exercise and it's really good that you don't um, get them too much exercise because they have a smushed face, um, meaning they're brassic cephalic, so they can't breathe well. So you don't want to give them too much exercise. So they're really good for apartment life as well because of this. So if you live in an apartment, they are good dogs to have because they don't need a big backyard to run around um, and get a lot of exercise and they're fairly quiet, relaxed dogs. Unfortunately, these guys have a ton of health issues. Um, so they unfortunately only, their lifespan is only about 10 to 12 years, unfortunately, because of their breed and the way their genetics are. They tend to get a lot of health issues. So unfortunately, their lifespan is pretty small. If you are looking into getting this breed, you also want to know that these guys are not hypoallergenic, meaning they are not good for anybody with allergies. So since they have so many health issues, I see them all the time in the veterinary clinic because they just constantly have issues. Um, I want to mention always getting health insurance no matter what. I don't care what health insurance you want to get. Just make sure that you do have health insurance and it does cover your um, emergency fees because that's what you want the health insurance for. Due to they can't breathe well, that means that you need to take extra caution in the heat because they also overheat is another health issue that they are prone to. They overheat very easy and then they have the other issue of not breathing well. So in the summertime, you want to make sure that they are not outside um, for long um, or if it's a heat wave, um, get a wee wee pad and make sure they go, they stay inside with air conditioner always because they, I, I see, I seen them so many times in the emergency clinic when there's a heat wave, um, you know, owners just walk them for like five minutes and they're panting and they're over, they have a fever. Um, it happens very quickly. So if there is a heat wave, I want to make sure that you guys keep them inside in a cool spot get a wee wee pad they're small enough to go on it um or you know um just make sure that if they're panting you want to bring them right back inside and that they are not outside unmonitored at all since they have a hard time breathing, you do want to use a harness so that way there's they're not putting a lot of pressure on their upper airwaves when they're pulling. Um, so always use a harness with them as well um, when you are walking them. Because these guys are so short and stocky, they tend to gain weight very quickly. So you're, you as an owner, number one priority is to watch their diet and make sure that they are eating healthy and not gaining weight too much weight because that can cause a lot of other issues um, alongside that their breed just tends to get a lot of issue, health issues. So you don't want to add any more issues than they already have just being a Frenchie. These guys are also very prone to allergies. Um, you can tell if they have allergies, if they have any like red spot or especially red paws and they're looking at it or red face, um, and that can be allergy based. Also, another thing is they can start itching their ears uh, without like any ear discharge um, and their ear can tend to get red. That is a sign of allergies and you do want to bring them to the veterinarian clinic um, to get checked out and possibly go on allergy medication because they are prone to that. Now these guys also tend to get cherry eye which is almost like a little red growth right in between the eye there. Um, it can bother them um, as more of an uncomfort uncomfortable feeling um, but if you do want to get that removed it is more of a cosmetic surgery than a necessary surgery. They're also prone to trachea collapse, meaning their trachea here that they breathe can collapse and then they almost sound like a wheezing sound. Um, so you do want to watch out for that as well. If they're starting to wheeze and turning blue, you want to go to your veterinarian clinic immediately. They also can get conjunctivitis, also can be called pink eye, um, which is an, an infection in the eye. Um, they're also prone to getting that as well. 
these guys have so much health issues that I didn't want to go and discuss all of them because there's so many. Um, I did discuss just a few, but they are, just so you know, very expensive medically-wise. They're always in the veterinary clinic or emergency clinic. Um, just be aware of that and make sure, I know I said this earlier, but make sure you have health insurance and make sure that health insurance covers emergency visits visits because you will be there very often unfortunately if you do have this breed all right guys thank you so much for watching this entire video um please feel free to put a like to it on the bottom of this video also please feel free to subscribe to me as i do make videos just like this one um at least once a week and i do have other videos just like this on my channel so if you want feel free to look at those um and i should see you guys shortly thank you